Hey guys, it's Angie from The Freckle Builder and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this very pretty tabletop stand. Please be reminded that this video is only for the stand without the neon lights. I will be making a separate video to just focus on the one with the neon lights because it's a little more detailed. So without further ado, let's get started. Here's a list of the tools needed for this project. A Glowforge laser or any laser cutter drill driver with a 1 16th inch twist drill bit, a utility knife, a Phillips screwdriver, wire cutter, and a printer. Materials 1 8 inch MDF wood, 1 8 inch hardboard tempered wood, glue, printable vinyl sticker paper, adhesive spray, self-adhesive felt fabric, and mini hinges. Our first step is making the shape. I used my Silhouette Business Edition software to make it happen. Hold shift and create a half circle. Before adjusting the dimensions, lock the shape and then for the width, you are gonna put four and a half. The height would automatically adjust itself once you hit enter. Next, we're gonna add a square. Just draw it out and then we adjust the dimensions accordingly. The width for this square is going to be four and a half and the height is going to be 3.75. The reason for that is that when we weld both shapes, it'll equal six inches in height. Make sure to align both shapes at the center. Then you're going to push down the half circle to meet the square at the line, you highlight both and then hit weld. This piece we're gonna call our face. Next, we're gonna hit copy and paste to make the inside, which I call the bones. Next, we're gonna open up our offset panel and do an internal offset of 0.75. Next, highlight both pieces. Then you right click and scroll down to make a compound path. Then copy and paste to make the second bone. And then go to the first piece, copy and paste, and that'll be the backing. Now we move on to create the stand. First, we're going to create a trapezoid. We will be adjusting the height accordingly. So the width is going to be 2. 0.125 and the height is going to be 3.40. Create another trapezoid, but this time it's going to be upside down. The width for this trapezoid is going to be 2.125 and the height is going to be 0 0.60. The final measurement on the stand is going to be 2.125 by four inches highlight both of them make sure they are aligned at the center and then you highlight them again and then hit weld so there we have it we have the face the two bones the backing and lastly the stand For the remainder of the video, I've decided to remove my voice and just have you watch along. It's pretty simple to follow. So sit back and enjoy the rest of the video.